Anyway, so this coast to coast storm, yeah, it's going to bring rain to, to just about every region with exceptions. One of those exceptions is the Southwest and how perfect because the timing for Saturday's eclipse is happening this weekend. And here's our silver lining of the week. Quite literally on Saturday, the moon's going to pass in front of the sun, eclipsing nearly 90% of it because the moon won't be eclipsing the sun completely. It's going to create an orange ring around the moon. That's why this eclipse is known as the ring of fire. It's the annular eclipse video from this ring of fire eclipse in 2021. This occurred in Ontario, Canada, in the United States. The last time we had one of these 2012. And guess what? We'll have to wait until 2039 until this type of eclipse occurs again. It's not a total solar eclipse, but people from Oregon all the way down to Texas going to have the opportunity to see it. Good news, no rain for a majority along this path of annularity, but some are going to have to deal with the, with the clouds. So where are we going to see the clouds? It's possible the Four Corners region might be dealing with a little bit of moisture streaming in from the Pacific. San Antonio looks good, Midland looks great, but right around that eclipse time, now depending on the location, it, it begins and starts in Eugene, works all the way down to San Antonio, we're going to see some opportunity, I think, of this eclipse. Now, myself, along with Max Gordon, we're going to be there, and I hope you guys watch. Oh, I will be watching. It's, yeah. I, you know, you might want to move to Midland, though. I'm just looking. Is, are those planes <laughs> up in the air? There is, and it's so unique. There's another solar eclipse that's occurring. Right. It's going to happen next year. Yeah. San Antonio is in that path, too. So San Antonio not only going cross. to deal with the annularity, yeah. you're going to see the, the total. So I also wanted to, to mention, planet, right? how fitting is it that we see this in the month of October? It's perfect. Ooh, that is a little perfect. Creepy. So. Good point. And, 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 and the reason why, it's, it, you have to kind of get into the perspective of, of the solar eclipse, but the moon in relation to the Earth is farther away. And so you're not getting that yeah, full coverage around risk. the sun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so because of the distance. So that's my silver lining. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.